Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, May 7th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. Tinder and others? Tinder's an app, so maybe it's just apps. Hype up could maybe be amp up. Home of many a tech startup. I think Palo Alto is the neighborhood for tech startups still. Blank moment crowning achievement. Hmm. My first thought was pinnacle, but that's not a phrase I've heard before. Pinnacle moment? Let's see what the cross is here. Activist copney known as Little Miss Flint. Hmm. I don't know. Is that Flint, Michigan? I don't know if I've heard of that person. Kind of device used in filmmaking. Hmm. It's not a camera of some kind, is it? Device. Interesting. Rhythmic. Hmm. Smartphone pop-up should be an alert, though. That fits perfectly. An equivalent phrase? Um, it looks like it wants to start with its. Like it's a uh, something. Hmm. Caleb represents him in East of Eden. Oh, um, that's right. East of Eden is like a biblical allegory kind of, right? So Caleb could maybe represent Cain. That would make sense. Sarcastic punchline to an insincere remark. I guess it could be not, like if you're Wayne Campbell, maybe. Um, hmm. Well, it does end in EST. Hmm. So it's kind of a superlative of some kind. Stay at home workers. Well, it seems like it has to be plural. Sitters? Like babysitters? That would make sense. Hmm. Oh, a plot device. Yeah, that makes sense. It's more like a, a story device, not like an actual physical device, right? Rhythmic. Is it like cadence? It's not quite right. Okay, maybe this is proudest moment. Yeah, there we go. And this is a pretty long one here. Unexpected. I really want this to be out of left field. I'm just going to hope it fits here. <gasps> no. Wait, no, it does fit. Good. Excellent. That's what I was hoping. That's a great piece of fill there out of left field. Nice little baseball piece of language there. Relevant. On topic? Yeah, that's good. Meaning. Hmm. Boy, this does seem like it wants to be cadence. Cadent, maybe? To make it an adjective? It could be cadent. This FT wouldn't be too bad. Heartfelt, maybe real? I don't know. Just give me a cool drink of water for I die, poet. Oh man. This is not familiar to me at all. Low speaker? This isn't going to be a pun about cows, right? Lowing? No, I think it has to be like a, a bass or a baritone or something like that. City southwest of Pyramid Lake. I haven't heard of Pyramid Lake, but I'm going to guess it's Reno. That just fits too nicely there. Jafar's parrot in Aladdin. That's Iago. It's a nice pair to the Othello we had on the puzzle yesterday. Meaning. Do you catch my meaning? Do you catch my drift? Ooh, that's a nice... That's a nice clue answer pair there. I like that. So it did end up being cadent. Okay. It's a new adjective. Appeal could be draw. That has appeal. That has a draw to it. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Low speaker. Oh, yeah, that's just a woofer. Okay. Yeah. All right. A subwoofer. 
Just give me a cool drink of water. Maybe it's my Anjalu. That's, she just, it, it's looking like that's what it wants to be, so. Constellation that Regulus is part of? That has to be Leo. Parts of a restaurant's overhead, and this is wordplay. So it's not gonna be cost of running the business. What is it gonna be? Literally something overhead? Hmm. What do restaurants have overhead? Like hoods over the stovetop or maybe ceiling fans or lights? I don't know what else a restaurant would have. A ventilation of some kind? Rotation calculation. Maybe that could be torque? Like how hard you're, you're rotating something? Maybe? Although T-O-Q looks very weird. Yeah, let's take out torque. I'm not sure enough to keep that in. Mouth part could be roof though. Yeah. Costa blank could be Costa Rican maybe? Chilled could be on ice. Okay, we're looking good in this corner so far. Big name in kitchen appliances. Uh, isn't there a brand called Oster? These letters all look pretty good. I think that's a good guess. Word that becomes its own synonym when red is inserted between its first two letters. Credited, cited. Ooh, nice. That's kind of echoing our red rebus from yesterday too. Little, a lot of little echoes from yesterday's puzzle. That's cool. Train that serves three Union stations. I guess that's in Acela. Yeah, I don't know where else all those would be, but I guess they'd be in the Northeast because that's where the Acela is. Wonkish could be nerdy. Decision-making time, I guess is D-Day. Esoterica. Does this puzzle have a theme? I'm getting vibes of a theme on this puzzle. Wait a minute. This puzzle, this puzzle is not rotationally symmetrical. I didn't notice it till just now. But when I looked at these two long answers, I noticed that there isn't a matching pair on this side and this side. Yeah. Yeah, that really makes me think there's a theme today because out of left field is a baseball term and inside baseball is another baseball term. Didn't we just have Inside Baseball as a revealer not that long ago, though? It's kind of weird they'd repeat that so soon. Um, but yeah, I wonder if we're going to have more baseball terms. Maybe it's kind of like a soft theme. Best-selling video game that takes place in space. Oh. Um, well, I don't think this is going to be about baseball. Okay. Um, boy, there's so many possibilities here. There's so many space-based video games. Mass Effect? Space Invaders? I, there's like a million. I shouldn't even spend time thinking about it. Okay, so that fits perfectly Is That's So You. That's a nice piece of language there. Hmm. This still looks like it might be Torque. Part of a ship's rigging. I really don't know too much about sailing. I know what a jib is. Wishes? Um, maybe that could be yearns four. Yeah, I like that. Energize with up should be pep up. Oh, well, I, I mean, I'm just thinking if this is torque, this could be top. So maybe it's like a top sale. I think I've heard that term before. Total Rex. Um, uh, is it miasmas? That's not really the right meaning of a wreck yeah it would fit but that doesn't really make sense um cosmopolitan maybe urbane like you're kind of refined yeah that's a very nice clue answer pair too i like that a lot both of these are very kind of fancy words voracious hmm voracious means you're very hungry Hmm. Youngin in Yucatan? 
Yucatan is the Yucatan Peninsula, right? That'd be a Spanish speaking area. So maybe it's Nino or maybe Nina. I'll put in Nino for now. Anticipatory times could maybe be eves. The eve before something, you're anticipating it, right? Like the night before Christmas. Reciprocal of Cosecant. Oh geez, is it just sign? It might be. <laughs> My trig is not super great. Let's say, let's, that could be renting something out, right? Hmm. Or it could also just be allows someone to do something. City whose name means Spring Hill. And it ends in a V? Maybe it has to be Tel Aviv, right? That's the only city I can think that would fit there. Okay. Avid. Yeah, if you're an avid reader, you're a voracious reader. That's good. Another nice clue answer vocab pair there. Let's. Oh, I guess a let in tennis is a redo. So that would make sense. Whew. That's very tricky. Okay, something bookmarked in a bookmark bar would be a URL. Yeah. Man, so I guess I guess this has to be torque. Wow, okay. I guess I had it right after all. Part of a restaurant's overhead is toques. I guess those are the chef hats, I think. I think that's what the chef hats are called, toques. Wow, that's a really tricky clue there. I like it though, that's a nice wordplay. Um, I really don't think this can be miasmas. Band refrigerant for short, oh man. Um. Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll recognize it when I see it, but I'm not sure what it is right now. Common items at merchandise stands. Items. Newspapers, magazines, candy bars. Souvenirs, maybe? Hmm. Well done. That should be a nice job. It's a juicy looking J right here. Roman god of beginnings and endings. Hmm. Juno? I'm not sure actually. Coors Field Athlete? That should be a Rocky. The Colorado Rockies play at Coors Field, I think. Liquor brand that inspired the name of a Grammy winning rapper? Um. Hmm. I'm not sure what that's going to be either. Something of interest to a business. Okay. So it's not just something a business would find interesting. I have a feeling it's going to be something that actually would accrue interest for a business. Like they would earn interest. Um, I don't know. Would it be a, like a bond of some kind? Hmm. Singer who is an original judge on The Voice. Oh man, I don't, I've never watched that show. Sweetie could be Hun, I guess. Ab blank, absent in Latin, oh no. Ooh, this corner is very out of my wheelhouse here. Uh, is it like CFCs? Oh yeah, because this video game that takes place in space could be StarCraft. The classic strategy game. Is it tote bags? I guess maybe. Merchandise stands would have tote bags, I suppose. Okay, so is this Bacardi for Bacardi B? <laughs> Did she kind of like reverse it? Yeah, Cardi B, Bacardi. Yeah, I guess that's possible. Some deer. Um. Is this like male deer or is it just like the color? Could it be roan? Hmm. Truth's counterpart. Truth or fiction? Truth or dare. There we go. That's a counterpart. Blank the finish. Hmm. Good to go could be set. Some deer. Is 
Is it Christina Aguilera? I guess, yeah. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. Um, and then something of interest to a business could be a bank loan. Yeah, it would something they'd be interested in and they would be charged interest for it. That's pretty good. In at the finish. I don't know if I've ever heard that phrase before. That's interesting. And this is Janice. I guess because Janice had two faces. Maybe one represents the beginning and one is the end. Interesting. Okay. Sweetie. Uh, is it Bay? A modern pet name? Yeah, maybe. Ab Esse? I guess so. Okay. Interesting. Okay. And then this is fiascos. It's a total fiasco. Another nice vocab word there. There's so much good vocab on this puzzle. Fiascos or Bane. I'm loving all these $10 words today. This is very nice. Cadent. That's a very, that's a new one for me. Although, what is this? SL? Endangered? Uh-oh. No, something's wrong here. How could top sale be wrong though? Oh man. Common items at merchandise stands? More common items, so not tote bags. Hmm. Build muscle. I don't know, could it be tone up possibly? Having the same number of carrots, e.g. as, it's gonna be some kind of comparative thing. Hmm. Giveaway could be a freebie. Huh. Non-kosher deli order. So it would have pig in it, I guess? Would not be kosher? Huh. A Reuben? R-E-U-B-E-N? Maybe. Yeah. Wishes. Maybe this could just be your names. Yeah, so it's the noun instead of the the verb. I guess I got tricked by that one a little bit. Yeah, because wishes could be a noun or a verb. Very tricky. In danger, okay, so that's at peril, right? Okay, that makes a lot more sense. And then this was Ruben, like how we were thinking. Okay. Mathematician who lent his name to a test. That's the Turing test, right? Um. Tear or tear? I guess it's tear because it's looking like rend. And then as pure? I thought carrots were a measure of weight. Oh no, but this is for like gold, right? Like 24 carat gold. Okay. Yeah, that's confusing because the <laughs> diamonds and gold both use carrots, right? And they kind of mean different things. Okay. So flies could be speeds if you speed away yeah okay um hmm so maybe this is in peril instead of at peril because that those neither of those were looking right um i don't think it's skirts this is going to be tone of running apparel wordplay so i guess it's not something you'd wear on a run uh, I guess hose, like pantyhose, would run if you get like a snag in them. Ooh, that's tough. And this is shirts. Okay, yeah, it's not skirts, but shirts makes more sense. All right, wow, let's see if that does it for us. Yeah. Just over 20 minutes. That was a very brisk Friday puzzle. And it, I think it's kind of, like we were saying, it's sort of got a soft theme. They definitely started with this they wanted out of left field and inside baseball to cross because you could have easily had out of left field and then put inside baseball down here as its kind of partner clue and then that would have given you a symmetrical grid so i guess for some reason they wanted them to intersect i guess because they share they could share this eye here so we have a little bit of a baseball theme today which is nice i like both of these phrases a lot um, they did use inside baseball recently, so that is a little bit of a demerit. Like it was only a few weeks ago, I think, maybe a month or two at most. Um, but still, it's such a great term. I don't blame them for wanting to put it in here. 
And then, like I was saying, there's so many great vocab words on this puzzle. Cosmopolitan, urbane, fiascos. Oh, you know what? We didn't go back and look at this clue. Rose for some deer. I think Roe maybe is a name for a female deer. Is that right? That's what my guess would be. Yeah. And there's also there was also a lot of nice wordplay. Let's for redos is very tricky. Yeah, and there wasn't a lot of small answers either, which is nice. And also there wasn't a lot of um there wasn't a lot of proper nouns, and the ones that were in there felt very intentional. You know, a lot of the time on puzzles you see proper nouns and they're just like short first names or names that have weird letter combinations, but all these felt like I want to have Christina Aguilera in the puzzle, I want to have Maya Angelou in the puzzle. They're not like weird crosswordy names, you know, like Turing also, like they're just sort of like, it seemed like they're just people this constructor wanted to put in the puzzle. So that was nice to see. There isn't a lot of like crosswordy proper nouns, which I appreciated a lot. Oh, and this toax was another nice little bit of wordplay here. Restaurants overhead. Yeah, it's nice to kind of refresh the meaning of that one in my mind too, because that's a word you don't see very often. Yeah, there's just tons of good fill on this puzzle. Starcraft, Bacardi. I like how they tied that into Cardi B. That was fun. Yeah. All right, I hope you enjoyed solving this Friday puzzle with me. I hope the subtle baseball theme wasn't too far out of left field. Uh, and I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the hardest puzzle of the week this Saturday. All right. I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.